pandemic and, and an alternative way of handling it. What do you say to someone like Anna? Well, precisely. I mean, when I said the disease wasn't deadly, what I meant, of course, was precisely that, that it's not deadly in a very large sector of the population. So that presents us with this workable solution whereby we can stop testing them, let them get on with their lives, let them go to school and receive something that is incredibly valuable to them, which is education and training, let people keep jobs, let them feed their children, let's preserve all of these things, let the arts continue or resume and continue to flourish. We can do all this and by aggressively protecting, I think maybe shielding is not the right word, aggressively protecting those who are indeed vulnerable to this infection, which of course, I apologise, of course it can be very deadly in a certain sector of the population. The good news is we know now who is vulnerable to a very large degree. We know that. And we also know, what are the things we really know in this? We know who's vulnerable and we know about the enormous costs of some of these measures. What, how can we balance these? We can balance these by using our tests to find creative solutions to protect the vulnerable, not just shield them and shut them up and box them away, but ways of protect them, protecting them by testing people who they'll be in contact with and making sure that they won't pass the virus on to them, by creating the conditions whereby they are at a low risk of contracting this virus, which has not diminished in its potency, but is now currently now held at low risk. But we cannot hold it at low risk forever without paying these extreme costs. So I absolutely agree with what so, you're saying, okay. Shreta, but mm -hmm. I just wondered why you think that or know that the virus is not losing its potency. Well, because it doesn't mutate very quickly. It doesn't change much. There, there is no... I mean, we don't know anything for certain about this virus, but it hasn't really changed in ways that would biologically suggest that it has become less virulent. But what has happened is that re levels of infection have declined considerably since April. And the way people die is when those infections leak into the vulnerable sector. Yeah. So that's what we need to stop. And John, John are you persuaded at all by I, I, what you're hearing? No, not really. Um, I mean, I completely respect what you're saying, quite, quite obviously, and, and I'm very aware of your um, background in this field, although there are other epidemiologists who take a slightly different view to you, to you, of course. And you are quite right that the numbers of deaths have been coming down. That is something we should celebrate. But it is a virus that spreads with speed and severity. And we also know that there are increasing numbers of people uh, in younger age brackets who have caught the virus. And yes, they may not have been admitted to intensive care in a hospital, but they are suffering from debilitating long-term conditions as a result of the virus. Now, obviously, but that's true of many viruses. Sorry? But that's true of many viruses. Well, it's very true. It's not very pleasant to get it. <laughs> It's no, not very no, pleasant no, for the it's, people it's, who've got it's, it because it's, it's a multi-organ virus, isn't it? It's, that's also and then it attacks true of people. Flu. Sorry, that's also true of influenza. Well, we don't try them, let everybody get it, and let's just you know. I mean, that's not that is not. I, if Excuse I may me, say why, so, why is it? I don't everybody believe if I may say it. so. If I may say so, I do not believe allowing people to be exposed to a virus that we know is deadly or or, or creates serious long-term health problems for them is the is the right is the right judgment. Then why don't for us you to make shut down the flu? Is the right judgment for us to make as policy as policymakers? We are trying to protect people, to save lives, and to drive down infections as best we can. And but the way in the which idea. we do that, the way in which we do that, is by investing properly in a decent testing and tracing system. We do not have decent testing and tracing at the moment, which is why we've got hundreds of ch school children starting this school term in the same way they ended the last school term at home. And not I, in education. John, There's I, lots I, of panic. John, let, I, John, can I, I just will... make this point because I think you're just on a party political broadcast. You know, you've not you've listened to what I've said, you've listened to what an expert said, and you've dismissed it completely because you want to nail the government on test and trace. No, no, but, I want to save lives, and that's not fair because the I simple, want to save lives, the simple no, you don't want to save lives. I do actually lives. want to save lives. No, lives, because John. we're killing. You just want to let the virus no, rip no, the population. No, absolutely not. We're killing people with cancer. We're killing young people with cancer to protect young people who won't die of this virus. 
We absolutely need to protect the age of the infirm. I've been saying that for six months. We have to, whether we call it shielding or what sort of protection, we have to protect them to the nth degree and let everybody else carry on with the work and there will be less deaths overall, I have no doubt whatsoever. But you won't even listen to what we're saying because well, you what want you've to said. push I mean, your I mean, party so political well, broadcast I, I did, that, I the no, let me finish, that the Conservative Party are failing miserably. Well, they are and failing maybe, on testing, well, you maybe, said that as well. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with that. But well, what I don't why like is the fact that you just stick it out when I make the same no, point you No, what make. I don't like is that you stick into your guns that you don't even listen I to the to argument to that this virus, with you. that there's Can a I different way of doing other, this virus. I just quick, disagree Briefly, because I so want to hear from our audience, you've almost all got their hands, that's it. Sorry, just Jeanette, very briefly. Point. Lives, not just lives in this country, lives around the world, globally. Lives. Absolutely. We need to save those lives. Yes, we absolutely. need to make sure 160 million people don't starve to death. Yes. That's really important. Okay, let's so 